Welcome to an exploration of Kandhara art, an ancient artistic tradition that flourished in the region of Kandhara in present-day Pakistan. This spectacular art emerged during the Kandhara Kingdom, a crossroads of cultures and trade along the ancient Silk Road. Influenced by Greek, Persian and South Asian art and crafts, it developed from the 1st century BC to the 5th century AD. Kandhara art is renowned for its unique stylistic features. It beautifully combines Hellenistic and South Asian artistic traditions. The sculptures often depict Buddhist deities, bodhisattvas and scenes from the life of Buddha, showcasing a harmonious blend of Greek realism and South Asian spirituality. Dr. Nadeen Umar Tarar, an anthropologist and a researcher on Pakistan's indigenous cultures, is currently holding the Gandhara chair at Wa University near the ancient town of Taxila. Dr. Tarar believes that valuable sites in Gandhara arts evolution should widely be appreciated. Gandhara art is known throughout the world because of its cross-cultural influence. The subject of Gandhara art is local. It is the life story of Buddha and is largely narrative art. It tells the story of Lord Buddha from his birth till his death. This art is not necessarily an object of worship but narration of Buddha's story. So in that way it is unique. Skilled craftsmen in Gandhara employed various techniques to create these magnificent sculptures. They used local grey-blue schist stone and adopted the subtractive method, meticulously chiseling away at the stone to achieve intricate details and realistic drapery. The artists also added polychrome elements to enhance the beauty of the sculptures. Although Gandhara declined in the ancient world, the artistic traditions it upheld have continued to this day. Meet Muhammad Iftikhar, a resident of the ancient city of Taxila near Islamabad, which is the capital of Pakistan. Iftikhar Ahmed is among those who are working to revive Gandhara art in Pakistan. Mr. Iftikhar teaches ancient techniques at the Hazara in Qadiyazm universities. 20 साल पहले मैंने ये फन अपने वालिद से सीखा था जिनको गवर्नमेंट ऑफ पाकिस्तान ने तमगा इम्तियाज से नवाजा अंग्रेज के जमाने में जब टेक्सला म्यूजियम बन रहा था तो मेरे दादा मजदूर की हैसियत से दिन भर यहां पत्थर बनाते थे ये स्वाद का एक पत्थर है इसका नाम शिस्ट है ये जवान पार से हमारी रिक्वायरमेंट के मुताबिक पत्थर उतार के गाड़ी में लोड कर रहे हैं दुनिया भर के म्यूजियम में जो गंदारा आर्ट के स्कल्पचर्स मौजूद हैं वो इसी पत्थर से बने हैं मैं अपने खानदान में तीसरा बंदा हूं जो ये काम कर रहा है टेक्सला इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एशियन सिविलाइजेशन में बच्चों को सिखाता था कि एशियन टेक्निक के जरिए स्टोन टेराकोटा और चूने के स्कल्पचर्स कैसे बनते थे इफ्तिखार्स वर्क इज ऑन डिस्प्ले एट द टेक्सला इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एशियन सिविलाइजेशंस he has also worked at various archaeological sites in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. All small sculptures in Bahmala Stupa have been conserved by Iftikhar. Apart from this, he has also restored various sculptures in Julian archaeology. Gandhara art is not only aesthetically pleasing but also rich in symbolism. The sculptures often portray the spiritual journey and enlightenment of the Buddha. Today, many Gandhara art masterpieces can be found in museums around the world, preserving this cultural heritage. The art continues to inspire contemporary artists and scholars, providing valuable insights into the fusion of diverse artistic traditions.